So, as you guys can see, the armor is finally finished. I have 100% completed it. Here's my helmet with uh, its visor. So, this I started this project back in February, and now it is finally over, finally done. Uh, I've learned a lot during the process of making this armor. As you guys know, I 3D printed every piece and everything. So, uh, definitely a learning experience considering I was new to, when I started, I was new to 3D printing. Uh, I even got this, uh, I got this this Nerf ha uh, Halo gun, uh, assault rifle, which I have painted. But uh, yeah, this was a long, hard project, and there are still a lot of issues with it, of course. Uh, I mean, I'm happy the way it turned out uh, for the most part, but there are still some issues. Uh, I broke this leg getting it on, <laughs> and uh, because it didn't, it wasn't sized right, it's too long for my leg, and it's too small around for my upper thigh, my thunder thighs. Uh, so um, all in all, uh, like I said, this was a huge learning experience, and uh, I couldn't get my shoes on, <laughs> so let me show the shoes. <laughs> So I couldn't get my shoes on because I couldn't bend over to do it. So uh, I've learned a lot of ex uh, learned a lot. So I know what to do better next time for Armor 2.0, which I've already started working on. Uh, I've used the in-game model from Halo 5, and I've started converting it for um, converting it back into it's an in-game. So it has a normal map with a low res mesh. So I've been converting it back into the high res mesh uh, through modeling and sculpting, and uh, it actually will have a much better fit. It'll be more suitable for cosplay as part as whereas getting it on and taking it off and each how each piece fits together um so uh it's the overall the, des the original design is much more conforming than this uh, i ran into a lot of limitations with this armor because it was not completely designed with the human anatomy involved it was also a pepicurophile so it didn't have the amount of detail in it that you would expect from a 3D printed piece as well. Uh, it was, again, paper craft, so it could be easily rescaled and resized as needed, because all you gotta do is just print another piece of paper. Um, so, uh, with those differences in mind, I think it turned out very well. Um, definitely not an easy thing to get on by myself, of course, because uh, I can't get the helmet on by myself. Uh, but I have the full helmet, which I which turned out really well, which I love, uh, with a chip slot uh, in the back for Cortana. Uh, but yeah, all in all, this is very good. Uh, was this worth 3D printing? Absolutely not. Like I said, this was a converted Pepicura file that someone had converted for uh, the ability to 3D print it, but it was not designed, the original model was not designed to be printed this way. It was not designed to be worn this way. So I could have saved a lot of time and money had I done it out of foam. Uh, my version 2.0 will have, it didn't, it just, the armor itself didn't have the level of detail in it that would warrant having to, to print it. So armor 2.0, lots of detail, made specifically designed for printing, separated into pieces specifically designed uh, to, uh, to uh, take apart, put on, to, piece together uh, so uh, my next cosplay uh, it, I'm not gonna do the armor yet I'm gonna wait because it wouldn't make sense to do another halo cosplay right after doing another halo cosplay so uh, my next one is going to be Terra from Kingdom Hearts I'm working on that model now and then maybe after that um, I'll probably revisit this again and reprint the armor uh, hopefully by the time I'll have a better resources at my disposal because I ran into limitations with the printer, limitations with the model and the armor, uh, limitations with what I wanted to do with it, and uh, even the visor, I, what I was originally planning for the visor, I wasn't able to do the way I wanted it, so I had to make a last minute order from a vendor on Amazon, which I'll, I'll, I'll post a link to their page, I mean, not, I am a vendor on Etsy, I'll post a link to their page in the description to get these awesome, really cool visors that um, they have the uh, honeycomb grid and they come in a variety of colors and they're completely polarized so you can't see into them uh, which is great and fantastic 
this was a fun project, and it's finally, I'm finally glad it's over. Uh, I've wanted to make a Halo suit of armor since Halo 2 came out. <laughs> this is when I started playing. So this was a big, big dream for me, and it's finally complete, and I can't wait to work on the second version of the armor, which will actually be comfortable. <laughs> but thank you guys for following along, watching all my, my watching my vlog. Um, keep an eye out uh, the next couple months for when I start vlog two for Terra's armor. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more? Check out my Instagram. We'll have better photos and pictures set up. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Good night, Ned. So. Uh, I would, this was, that was going to be the end of the video, but then I realized that the video was only five minutes long and you guys deserve an explanation as to why you're getting a video at the completed product and not the in-betweens, which I had planned. So, I just want to do a, a short, quick little breakdown because I only have ten minutes before I have to get back to work because I'm technically on the clock right now. But on break. So, uh, and I wanted to get this while I had, while I'm awake enough to do it. Uh, so, uh, I actually finished this armor last week. But uh, due to personal issues and stuff, I didn't get around to doing the videos to this week. Um, so a couple of things is that uh, videos wouldn't upload. Short and simple, I had a couple of videos that I took that were a couple episodes, but they wouldn't upload to YouTube, and that was due to some weird, funky file path thing. I don't know. It was strange. Uh, I figured it out, and I got it working again, so this video, you'll, you'll know because this video got uploaded. But the other videos didn't, and by the time I realized that they were, weren't were uploading, I was like kind of too late and I didn't feel like uploading them anymore. Because <laughs> I had already they were already so far out of date from what I had finished. Um, but essentially one was I was going over the painting and everything else. Um, I even did a little painting on screen, it wasn't anything like magical. So, uh, And then I did an unboxing video of this. This is a Halo branded for Halo Infinite, a, the Halo Assault Rifle for Halo Infinite, for Nerf. It's an actual Nerf gun. It's a real Nerf gun. Not just one that made the look like a Halo Rifle. It's straight up Halo Nerf gun. And it's not the Boomco one, because Boomco released a Nerf, uh, Nerf gun as well, but uh, this one's a motorized gun, as you can see. And uh, battery powered. And yeah. Uh, it, I painted it, everything else. It turned out really great. Turns out this gun actually wasn't supposed to be released until uh, October 1st, and Amazon started shipping them out early, so um, I'm pretty sure I got that way ahead of when I was supposed to. Um, break. Um, I'll do the helmet last, but go and go quick break down all these pieces, because I am on the clock. Um, so here's the uh, chest plate, and all of its glory and majesty. Uh, again, these were all paint, so these were painted with base coats, so I did uh, a iron, like a metallic iron spray paint base coat. And I did black over that. And then I masked out, and I masked out pieces as I went, and then uh, I did a metallic blue spray paint, and then I went in and did dry brushing with an acrylic silver. So, I was originally gonna do magnets, but magnets weren't working out, so I, uh, so uh, I used uh, Velcro, and it was so hot outside that the Velcro, actually, the hot glue on the Velcro melted. So uh, I have um, simple padding inside, um, and then I'm using straps to uh, hold it around the sides. Here's the the back and uh, yeah, nothing too crazy and fancy on the back except for just the detail uh, the cod piece so the cod piece was a little bit wide and uh, it didn't actually it kept sliding down which is why the suit looks so awkward why there's so much empty space between the cod piece and the chest plate it was because this is supposed to be my waist and I kept sliding down so I almost uh, it almost slid off. If it, if it wasn't for the, the thigh armor, it would have just slid off me because I don't have much in the room of thigh uh, hips. So that is uh, so that wouldn't this piece would need to be redone because it just didn't fit. Also, it looks not. Also, uh, I'm working on 2.0 of the armor, and this is not the cod piece from the 2.0. Uh, this is not a cod piece from the Mark V armor 
or Mark IV uh, armor. So uh, I was kind of the more I work on this, the more I see the differences between this and the other one. And I'll go into this later. I'll, at the end of this video, I'll go in a breakdown of what I'm actually working on as far as the 2.0 of the armor. Um, and I'll go into more project goals, but for real quick, just to, I'm going to break down this, but yeah, that looks nothing like what the cod piece is supposed to look like, which kind of made me mad. Here is the thigh. So same thing, all same color scheme. So this piece, <laughs> is this this piece? No, it's not this piece. It's the other piece. Uh, so this piece, uh, broke. As you can see. It split when I tried to put on the shoes. I couldn't put on the shoes because I couldn't bend over in the armor to reach. And that is because these are too long for my leg. They're just a little bit too long that I can't bend my leg enough to be able to reach down. So these will need to be reprinted. But I'm working on 2.0, so I'm probably not going to reprint anything for this armor. Considering Halloween's not going to work out well for everyone, we'll, we'll see. Uh... Oh, the boots did turn out pretty good. So I just have them on a, a regular boot. Um, but yeah. Nothing crazy, nothing too simple. I'm probably going to change the boot from what I'm actually using for the boot. And then put this stuff on. It's all held on by straps, so it's none of it's glued to the boot. So it's all glued and held on together. So I can easily take it on and off. So I can use the boots for like regular shit. This is the calf. Um, I'm, as you can see, I'm holding it on with Velcro to hold on this piece. If I, when I remove this plate, uh, that allows me to get my foot in. So this is the front and this is the back. It's this little divot right here, which is actually what keeps me from. It's the way this person modeled it, and they actually made it more. It doesn't look like this on the actual armor, and I'll go over that in the next part of, in the uh, part three of this video. Um, the next section but uh yeah so that little divot right there is actually what keeps which is why i had to cut this out in the first place because i couldn't slide my foot past this you can see in there you can see where it sticks out so that uh that kept it from my foot from getting in and out properly I'm going in the wrist intense padding because i have tiny forearms and just a lot of detailing that was actually an accident. That's actually not part of it. I think a bird shot on my armor while I was le I left it outside. Uh, but uh, yeah, bicep piece. A little bit of a close up of it. So yeah. Um, again, there's big differences between this and what's actually the actual design for the actual armor itself. Again, going over it later. Uh, Shoulder. I'm actually running out of time. This is already seven minutes. Quick. Uh, shoulder. Turned out very well. Really like this piece. Just like the reflectivity of the blue. Uh, I have a ha so I have a strap that goes around the arm. So this goes around my arm, uh, and then this one goes across my chest and around my back. That holds it in place. Where is the third one? The third one is here somewhere. There it is. So this is the other shoulder. I really like this one. It's probably my favorite one, honestly. It looks a lot better because I have more. It's got more going on. Better uh, uh, edge wear, and then the more dynamic because it has three different. It has the the iron here and the blue and the black. So a lot more color it makes it more interesting. Um, kneecaps, nothing crazy. Just slides up my knee. Uh, there are differences between this and the end game as well. Um, this is my old gun. This is the old one that I had. So this is originally what I was going to use. But uh, as you can see, I found the, the Nerf gun used better. I'm still planning on painting this though. I have the barrel and the uh, the flashlight on it that's supposed to, it got detached. But I'll, I'll put it back on. And then I still, still plan on painting this because I personally prefer the Halo 3 uh, look over all the others. So I still plan on doing this. Um, helmet. So the visor I was gonna go with didn't work. And uh, 
the Warbler that I had wasn't real Warbler. I bought it from a shady site because everywhere was sold out, and this was because quarantine, everyone working on their arts and crafts projects. But everywhere was sold out, so I got it from a shady site, and even holding it under the heat gun for five minutes wasn't enough to melt it to be able to form it properly. So I had to improvise, and I got this off of Etsy. I'll link it in the description. Uh, but this is really cool. It has the honeycomb. They actually have a blue visor that I wish I had went with instead, because it just I, when I was using that visor over there, it just looked so much better when it was sitting in this helmet. So, uh, as you can see, uh, it's blue. Oh, oh crap. So, it, clean, uh, much visibility from inside the helmet, but you can't see it. But you can't see anything from the outside. Great. Uh, removable AI Cortana chip. So, if I take this chip out, uh, I can take the Cortana chip out and put it back in. Color match the helmet. Oops. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all there is to the armor. I just want to do a quick little breakdown of it. Um, get a little better view of the, without my head in the way, uh, of the gun. But yeah, turned out really well. Really loved it. Um, this was a fun project. And uh, in the, I'll go over, uh, next I'm going to go over uh, pro project plans for the second iteration of the armor.